Hey, 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 people! Came here to listen about how I praise Dune. Well, you came to the right address. But just before I jump into that, I wanted to quickly mention something about my previous video. So basically, I did this video on The Old God, a recently released sci-fi Netflix movie, where I talk about the things that didn't make sense to me in the movie itself. YouTube, of course, blocked it, but it took days to lift the claim and make the video public again. So that's why it seemed like I didn't upload anything. Basically, if you want to waste 10 minutes of your life, check it out right here. Right, back to Dune. My name is Mr. Fisher, and without further ado, let's delve in. Dune is probably one of the most, maybe even second most fascinating movie of 2020 for me. I know there is not much competition this year, but Dune is right there with Tenet for me in terms of excitement. And I'm guessing that a lot of people are with me on this one. I mean, let's look at the recipe of this movie. Timothy Chalamet is the lead, one of the most promising stars in Hollywood right now, who has delivered nothing but perfection thus far. But it's not just him. It's also just Brolin, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Javier Bardem. I mean, Jesus, these are all top-tier actors who can deliver incredible performances and more. So the cast alone ramps it up to be an incredible film. But what else have we got? Oh yes, it's a sci-fi movie. And yes, I am a sucker for this genre, but this is one of the most popular genres right now worldwide, so I'm by far not alone. But I feel like we are not getting as many science fiction tales as we used to on the big screen. Right now we would be lucky to have two truly good ones per year. And this is partly due to not many directors working in this genre department, at least not on that level. And this is where we arrive to yet another important milestone of this movie's anticipation. Denis Ville... Ville... Vali Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Jesus Christ. The guy is easily top 10 directors working today, but also top 2 directors for me personally in the sci fi genre, along with Christopher Nolan, of course. I mean, look at the resume of the guy Blade Runner 2049, Arrival, Sicario, Enemy, Prisoners. The guy is killing it in Hollywood, and especially sci fi, with Arrival being my top 5 sci fi films of all time. The guy has a unique style and knows how to tell a story in the most excellent way, both visually and through dialogues. If anyone could make a movie adaptation of Dune, it's Denis. But we would come back to that just a little bit and talk about him more. Moving on to another reason for now to be excited about Dune is the story of Dune. Now, please don't freak out. But no, I did not read Frank Habit's novel, What? nor did I watch David Lynch's take on the story. What the fuck? Which means I do not know anything about Dune. Listen, I really don't like David Lynch's movies. I really don't get why he is such an acclaimed director. And when I saw that Dune was one of his most poorly reviewed movies, I literally would have been had to be paid to watch it. And also, I had a couple of friends who did read the book and did not recommend the film, so I just kind of passed. But from what I understand and know about the book and about the story, it's basically a Star Wars-esque saga but for adults with an incredibly interesting plot at its center. I've heard nothing but praise about the book's lore, characters, decisions and the ending, and at this point I do not want to read the book as I want to be surprised as much as humanly possible by Denis's adaptation of the novel, but I know enough to realize that this is possibly one of the most interesting cipher stories that can be done on a big screen. So yes, with recent lack of good science fiction, this does look extremely appealing to me, even by the book cover alone. And oh my god, let us not forget about Hans fucking Zimmer. The guy literally refused to score Tenet with his longtime working partner Christopher Nolan because he was so excited to work on Dune. From what I've heard in his interviews, he has never worked so hard on any movie before. I really do think there is a solid chance that this might be his best soundtrack ever, even better than Dark Knight, Inception and Interstellar. In Simmer we trust. So, it seems that Dune is literally unstoppable on its journey towards success, big box office, cult following and the start of a potential franchise, because that's what Hollywood does. Now you might ask, but Mr. Feature, what could be possibly the reason to be worried about Dune? What could possibly happen that would make this movie suck? Well, first of all, let's not forget that any movie can suck. Trust me, there were people who saw the first cut of Shawshank Redemption and were like, holy shit, this is fucking terrible. Look, honestly, I think Dune will most likely be a good, 
hell great movie. Whether it will flop at the box office or not is a completely different question. I think it might actually, but I'm talking about whether the movie itself is likely to turn out bad. And to that I say, well, it depends. I want to share with you a secret. I did not like Blade Runner 2049, at least by far not as much as I wanted to. I am a livid fan of the first one, I have seen all the cuts, all endings, and it all stuck the landing with me. What made the first movie work for me was the lack of traditional good and bad guy scenario which was overwhelming in the 80s Hollywood. Instead the story focused on the philosophy of morality. What is right? What is wrong? Do we know what life is? Do we have the authority to deny it? We were constantly held in the dark on literally every aspect of the movie, we were introduced not to flat out villainous murder bots who wanted to take over the world, but to several surviving replicants who simply wanted the freedom, to gain understanding of what the world is and how to fit in it. And of course the stunning visuals, acting and music all contributed to crafting this insanely unique world of anti-utopia. But the sequel that Billionov made did not adhere to practically any of that. Instead, we instantly started with the delusional and nonsensical character of Jared Leto, whom I did not understand at all with all his biblical bullshit. We quite literally got a simple scenario of a big corporate baddie who wanted to have the biggest toy on the market. None of the characters were properly explored, making it impossible for us to relate to them. The only mystery that kept me somewhat interested was the whole child plotline and having Gosling trying to figure it out. But other than that, and also the relationship between him and his virtual assistant, it all felt pretentious and flat. So many plotlines were completely unexplained and abandoned, much like the one with the revolution for example. I don't know guys, I watched this movie at least three times, I tried to give it a chance, but it just didn't work for me. But I know this movie did for the most, which is why what I'm about to say might sound completely unjustified to most of you, but here goes anyway. I am worried that Dune will be another gorgeous, vivid sci-fi spectacle with amazing action, but little to none character development. I am worried that this will be a rehash of the Blade Runner. And yes, I know that Dune is based on a book rather than original script, and I know that Denis is not to blame for how Blade Runner's story turned out. Well, mostly not to blame. But I just can't help to think that even based on the initial photos from the movie set, it looks like they are focusing a lot on creating an original looking world, but I don't want to just look, I want to listen and to understand the lore. And god I hope they will nail this one. Denis can and did direct some of the best stories ever with Prisoners literally being my top 20 favorite movies of all time. So I just hope that the team he has on board with him on this film knows what they are doing. I mean, the way I see it, they have a potential of making the next Lord of the Rings here. Well, okay, maybe I, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but literally this movie could knock every single department out of the park. But I can tell you straight away that if they make the characters whom it's hard to relate to, this movie will not only not be as good as it could have been, but it will flop hard in the cinemas. Let's calm down and back it up a little bit. I still am mostly sure that Dune will be at the very least a good, but even more likely downright incredible movie. You would be stupid not to bet on it. I'm just trying to be cautious because I don't want to be fooled and disappointed again like I was with Blade Runner. It's my personal micro PTSD, if you will. God, I'm so spoiled. But in any case, this is just my opinion that I wanted to share about Dune. But what do you think about it? Are you at all excited for it? Or do you not know anything about the movie and do not care that it's coming out? Are there any of you here actually who have seen David Lynch's adaptation and enjoyed it? You all have to let me know, as I am very curious. In any case, it seems that we will see Dune before Tenet, so my interest in this film just rises day by day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button and do subscribe as we have much more content like this coming our way. I would be insanely happy to have you as a part of our community. Thanks again, and I wish you a nice day. See you in the next one!